Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is empirical probability. Hope you all would have been familiar with this word probability. Now let us see what is the meaning of that and definition and I am going to show you some examples too. In probability theory, empirical probability is an estimated probability based upon previous evidence or experimental results. As such, empirical probability is sometimes referred to as experimental probability and we can distinguish it, it from probabilities calculated from a clearly defined sample space. Generally, we take the cases like a deck of a card, bats, balls playing, tossing a coin like that. Let's first compare and contrast empirical probability and theoretical probability. Then we will look at an example problem that relates empirical probability to the important concept of expected value. Now here we go with the definition. Empirical probabilities are based upon how likely an event has proven in the past. Thus they are always estimates. Please note that empirical probabilities are always estimates. A great and common example of an empirical probability is a player's batting average in baseball. For example, according to ESPN.com at the time of this writing, uh, Philadelphia Phillips power hitter Ryan Howard has a career batting average of 0.258. This is found by computing the ratio. Let me give you the formula. Total number of successful event over total number of all possible event. So batting average can be calculated with total number of hits out of total number of at bats. Am I right? Because batting averages are a common example of empirical probability. We can use the batting average as an empirical probability if we want to estimate how likely is it that Ryan Howard gets a hit on his next at bat. Using his batting average as an empirical probability, the likelihood that Howard gets a hit is 0.258. If you are going to say your answer in percentage, then just multiply it by 100 and give your answer as 25.8 percentage. That's because if you look at the look at all the at bats Howard has taken us thus far in his career, he has gotten a hit 25.8 percentage of the time, or about one in every four at bats. So if you find the average like this, does this mean that if Howard has struck out the past three times and he's been at bat, that his next time at the plate he'll surely get a hit? Of course not. For one empirical probabilities are simply estimates based on the past observation. It cannot, uh, we cannot use that to pretend the future. Also, it is probably not a bad assumption to consider consecutive at bats to be independent of one another. I would like to distinguish empirical probability from calculated probability. In contrast to empirical probabilities which are estimates, calculated probabilities involving distinct outcomes from a sample space are exact. Do you understand the difference between these two? Empirical probabilities are estimates, calculated probabilities are exact. For example, if the event X consists of M desired outcomes within a total sample space of N possible outcomes, then what would be the probability of X? The probability of X would be for the M desired outcomes within a total sample space of N possible outcomes. So I am going to illustrate this concept. To illustrate this concept, let us consider the probability of drawing an ace from a standard shuffle deck of 52 cards. So there are totally 52 cards in a deck. So if, I, uh, if I'm shuffling it and uh, taking out, I'm drawing out an ace from the card, what would be the probability? So in this case, there are four aces in the deck. In the total deck of cards, there are four aces. So M is equal to four. So this is the chance of success. Since there are 52 total cards in a deck, N would be 52. Total number of possible outcomes would be 52. Total number of successful outcome, total number of possible outcome. So probability of drawing an ace from a deck of card would be. Please note that we can compute this probability without actually drawing any card. Unlike with empirical probability, it is unnecessary to observe an experiment beforehand. 
So this is the main important difference between the calculated probability and empirical probability. Empirical probability is based on the past, the event that has happened in the past. But calculated probability, we need not do the experiment beforehand. We can just assume it and that would be the exact answer too. Also, the probability is exactly 4 out of 52. It is not an estimate. Both of these facts distinguish probabilities calculated from sample spaces from pro uh, empirical probabilities, which are always estimates based on the past data. Does this make sense to you so far? As opposed to an empirical probability, which is an estimate based on past data, the probability of drawing an ace can be calculated exactly. Estimation exactly. So these are the two different main important difference between these two. Okay, now let me take an example and find the expected value. Here is an example problem to illustrate how calculating an empirical probability can be used to make prediction. Let's assume a fictitious startup company, Empiricus Enterprises, is increasing producing of its three products X, Y, Z. In the table, we have the number of units sold of each product in 2007. However, in 2018, the company plans to increase its production and its estimates and it estimates that it can manufacture 7000 total units of XYZ. Now of those 7000 units, how many should be the product of Y? That is the question. Okay, let's start by computing the empirical probability that a random customer when faced buying X, Y or Z will choose Y. So from last year's data, that is from the table, the proportion of units sold that were product Y was 350 out of the entire total. So this is the total number of possible outcome and uh, I'm sorry, total number of successful outcome. So let us find the total number of possible outcome. Possible outcome is just add all these. Total number of successful outcome is buying the product Y. It is given that 350 from the table and total number of possible outcome is you just have to add the uh, product X, Y, Z sold. So 250 plus 350 plus 400 which is nothing but 1000. Now let's find the empirical probability and predict the sales in the year next year 2018. Okay. So empirical probability is total number of successful outcome 350 over total number of all possible outcomes 1000. So 350 over 1000 is 35 percentage. For the probability problems you could give your answer either in decimals fraction in a simplified way or percentages. All these three methods are applicable. You can use any one of the method that you are very comfortable with. But I personally suggest you could write your answer in decimals, a minimum of three points, three decimals. Now we can use this empirical probability 35 percentage to make a prediction or find the expected value of the number of units of the product Y that will likely be sold out of the next year's 7000 units. So expected value is nothing but the probability times the x. x is 7000 here. Therefore, we estimate that the product of units. So let me find the product. 35 percentage times 7000 would be 2450. Hope you got the same value. So we can estimate that about 2450 units of the product y will sell based on the last year's data 2017. Again, this is only an estimate and the actual number of units sold will likely vary somewhat. This is the approximate answer, not the accurate one or the exact one. Hope you find the difference between empirical probability and the calculated probability. So empirical probability is uh, purely based on the, the event that has happened already. So we are just using that concept and using that to predict the same thing that will happen in the future. But calculated probability is not like that. Even uh, we need not do the experiment, but we can say that what will happen. But the answer would be exact one. So that is the main difference between empirical probability and the calculated probability. So finally, you can say that experimental or empirical probability is the probability of an event based on the results of an actual experiment conducted several times. In theoretical probability, we assume that the probability of occurrence of any event is equally likely. And based on that, we predict the probability of an event. 
we can take some examples too. When we toss an unbiased coin, the chances of occurrence of head or tail is equally likely. Am I right? So the probability of occurrence of the head is 1 out of 2 uh, results or 50 percentage. Empirical probability or experimental probability is based on the actual experiments and adequate recordings of the occurrence of events. Actual experiment is conducted to determine the probability of occurrence of an event. Experiments have not having fixed results are known as random experiments and the outcome of such experiments are uncertain. Random experiments are repeated multiple times to determine its likelihood. The number of times an experiment is repeated is better described as number of trials. So the formula for empirical probability is Hope you are clear with empirical probability now and I think you can now distinguish the empirical probability with the calculated probability too. So that's it for this topic. Uh, please go through the video and let me know in case if you have any query. Hope you are clear with the concept. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great time ahead.